Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to to episode 7 of the Monogatari series of a monster. My fucking nose, oh my god. <laughs> this is gonna get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Honestly, no. Right, but you know, hey, you do you. She's so pretty. And you are? No, 
dogs. <laughs> okay. Not surprised. Right, because you know you do something, and but you know you come back to life. Because I mean, you vampire, so you good. No, but oh no 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 no. <laughs> I get that, yeah. You know? It's your funeral. Not really, but you know, you do what you gotta do. 
Because you definitely will regret something. Damn. <laughs> well,
True. Don't squeeze your hand too tight, though. Not Corpse Castle. <laughs> well, too late. It's happening. Get over it. Yeah, don't need you to die, like, multiple times as well.
And, and that's okay. <laughs> With the fact that they want to kill her, I mean, I get it. Interesting. Because it's like, yeah, you want to eat her. That's it. I'll look at, at the end of the day. Now, biggest thing, love her eyes. Love that she has two different color eyes. Like, oof. It, it makes her, uh, like, I can now see why every single time she looked at everybody, everybody wanted to off themselves. Because, yeah, she is so freaking beautiful. Like, damn. Like, oh. To see how she treats, she's like a Cinderella, except, you know, she, she, it's the, the richest rag story for her, and you do feel bad for her, but we know everything that she's currently going through as of right now, she's going to meet the one person who she cares about more than, like, anything in her life, which is Agaragi and such. Now, <laughs> Tropical, he seems very interesting, he reminds me of, like, <laughs> so you know like the sidekicks who are always telling like the main person being like oh no 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 you shouldn't do this because of x y and z like he, he's kind of like the safety hazard type person like no oh my god master no don't do this no don't do that definitely she seems very interesting from what i have now heard i think last night before i go to bed she's either voiced by sailor venus or sailor jupiter in the old sub for Sailor Moon. I'm not sure because I was like, I'm scrolling down my timeline last night before I went to sleep um, or I took like my second or third nap of the night and I see um, both of these characters together. So I was like, okay, well we got the names. I was like, maybe I'll get like a little hint of who they played. So I click the first name and instantly I just see Sailor Moon stuff and I'm like, Okay, but she could be either one of these. For the guy, for Tropical, like, I don't know who he's voiced by. But to see that, like, slowly but surely she's over here questioning, like, well, damn, every single time I get close to this chick, I off myself, wake back up in her arms like nothing happened, and, and then you're questioning, I, I, I would even question everything. I'd be like, what the absolute fuck going on with this shit? Like, are you kidding me? But, no, 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 no. It does make me wonder how they're going to, quote, unquote, kill her. Because, as of right now, she is unkillable as well. No one has gotten that close to killing her. So, I'm also hoping that with this, we do see eventually the birth of Shinobu becoming a vampire as well. Which, I'm guessing we are. It does make me wonder how long it's going to be with this arc. Because this is technically episode zero, in a way, for her. But, no, I love the... Um, oh my god, like, what I say, theme? Uh, no, no, aesthetic, there we go. Th this is very aesthetically pleasing I I to the eye. As someone who loves secretly, like, just very much whimsical gothic X vibes, very, like, darkness and everything, um, as much as even though you don't see that <laughs> in my life, but I, I do love that, like, suggestical style. It's very pretty, and people who wear it, they wear it good, and I'm like, damn, I wish I could do that. But that's, like, how, it, it, it doesn't really give Tim Burton feels, but, like, I was, if it, if there was a Tim Burton movie that I could, I can't speak, possibly compare it to, I, the only one that I'm, like, immediately thinking is, like, one of my all-time favorites, Sweeney Todd, specifically, but I love the way it looks. The theme songs, just character songs in general, hella good. Music, top fucking tier. So I hope next week, when I do come home from work, unfortunately, um, they continue that with the next episode. But no, I don't know. Honestly, this was a really good first episode for just baby girl's part. Once again, beautiful baby, so precious, so pretty. Just hate the fact that every, every single time someone looks at her, they instantly die. You're like, damn, girl. Damn. I mean, because imagine if I had not watched 6.5 last week and coming into this episode this week, I would have been like, what the absolute F? But <laughs> I would have been like, <laughs> like, what the fuck going on? But no, 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 still. 
got some more questions, but hopefully they'll be answered in the next couple of weeks. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 7 of the Monogat City series, Off and Monster. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. So the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday once again when I come home from work because I'm not coming home until, I think, an hour I think I'm on like six or seven. I really don't remember. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.